Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Today, I want to talk about stress. I know I brought it up in a previous episode, and uh, it's clear that stress levels are rising. People are stressed out, and we all cope with it differently. It's understandable. And there's many things that we can do um, that bring us some comfort. Sometimes those things aren't the best for us. I mean, for example, But in today's episode, we're going to dive into some of these different methods that are available, what people are doing, what the internet has to say. And uh, of course, I'll always ask you, what are you doing to deal with your stress levels? Is it uh, something positive or is it something self-destructive? As we know, there's plenty of both in this world. And uh, yes, today's Daily Dose is sponsored by GrassDoor.com. Cannabis delivered fast in 45 minutes or less. Use the code daily to save 40% on your first purchase. Now, the stress levels that people are feeling right now is understandable. The world is on fire. Things don't look good. Inflation is destroying all of us. And ultimately, uh, so is fuel costs. And that goes down the line. So everybody's feeling this. You would think that fuel only affects fuel at the pump, but it does not. At least some people may think this. It affects everything because if the cost of fuel goes up, so does the cost of um, transportation and whatever they're transporting. So if transportation costs go up, food costs goes up. You know, the shit that you buy at Walmart goes up. Everything goes up. And that becomes burdensome on, you know, average people like you and I. Uh, today, I am testing some extracts. It's uh, my back is killing me, but um, whenever it's a brand new bottle that I'm testing, this is made by Crave. This is their Mengda extract, liquid extract. Um, it helps with a little bit of my stress, but uh, mostly for my lower back. It's fucking killing me. Yesterday, I ended up at Sky Zone with my kid and um, it's like a trampoline park. Man, am I, am I just really beat my knees, my legs, my back, you name it. So give me a moment. Let me take a sip of this. Whenever I, bu whenever I buy these and test them, I sip them first. And if I do like them and want to use them again, I dilute them with water to get kind of more value out of it. I mentioned it in an earlier video. So cheers. Gosh, these are always so disgusting. This tastes like green apple. But no matter what you flavor it with, it's disgusting. But at least it's... At least it's effective. That's all that I can that I can ask for. In any case, what you know, what can we do in today's current climate of where we all are, what we are all feeling, and what are some of the things that are triggering this? Well, as I mentioned, some of the triggers can be what I've described, and these are immediate triggers. We're all feeling it, and um, and how we react to it how it manifests in our lives will vary. If um, we look at other triggers, right? Like what did we see during lockdowns? People getting divorced. I know some people who are uh, attorneys and the amount of divorce papers they have and folders on their desks right now has, uh, it has them really kind of tripping out about it. Um, so triggers can be people in our families that um, create a stressful environment a number of different things. It could be your kids. It could be your job. You name it. Job, I'd say, and employers might be probably at the top of the list. I don't think anybody likes their job necessarily. Uh, hence why we have this great resignation as of right now. Um, very surprising. But, you know, a few years ago, I considered that uh, at some point there would be a huge investment. I mean, there's already massive investments in automation. But the push to get it integrated into society and uh, huge businesses are probably going to start increasing as of now. Now that more people want to work less or not at all or try to find something else to do, uh, these companies are going to turn to automation and they're going to happily do it. And here's the perfect excuse to use in, uh, in, in any kind of case where they get backlash about it from the public saying like, look at McDonald's just, you know, firing a bunch of people and putting kiosks. What are they going to say? 
no, we didn't fire anybody. Everybody quit and we still need to operate. So here you are, automated kiosks to uh, take orders. Perfect excuse, I think. So let's jump into what the internet has to say about uh, the varying things that are available to us, the, the practices that we can use. Um, there, there are many. And then after which, we'll talk about um, some of the destructive behaviors that, uh, that uh, stress can create and how it manifests in all of us. Uh, and it will be different. It will vary in degrees for some more, for some less. So we're going to talk all about that in just a second. Now, if we come to our handy dandy Google feed here, look at all of these products for the sake of reducing anxiety and stress. I mean, look at this one. Chill the fuck out. A stress reducing anti cortisol chocolate cocoa powder. What is this? Get immediate relief under three minutes. Looks like an inhaler. That's fascinating. What is this? Stress and cortisol relief. So if you don't know, cortisol is, uh, I guess, a, a natural hormone found in the human body. And uh, when those levels rise, it's usually due to stress and um, it leads to weight gain for some. This is where you may have heard about cortisol, where people are trying to lose weight. And in order to do so, they first have to reduce their cortisol levels. How can we handle stress in healthy ways? Eat and drink good shit to optimize your health. Exercise regularly, and I can't agree with that more. It does make me feel better. Stop using tobacco and nicotine. I beg to differ. This is something that I absolutely love, especially if you're a long-term smoker, 10 plus years. You're going to need to get your nicotine from somewhere. Study and practice relaxation techniques. So meditation works. Yoga works. All of these things do work. You kind of have to give it a chance and maybe kind of mix and match and try shit. Reduce triggers, which is difficult if your triggers are part of your life, your job, your family, your kids. How do you reduce those? Or I suppose maybe you can ask for more like me time. Examine your values, assert yourself, set realistic goals. These things are probably more so for life. You know, how to succeed at life. <laughs> and then the list goes on. Healthline by far has probably the most posts uh, on this subject. So the next one is what reduces stress immediately? And this is something that was actually trending on Google Trends, uh, pretty high percentage levels of interest. Understandable why you would be the case right now. Breathe. Slow, deep breaths can help lower blood pressure and heart rate. Listen to music, take a walk, find the sun which would be quite difficult if you live in Washington State or Ohio where it's always cloudy. Give yourself a hand massage. Count backwards. That, me personally, I think counting backwards would increase my frustration. Um, stretch. So that, I'd say, goes in line with uh, yoga. It, uh, it's, really, it's really remarkable. And the practice has been around for so long it's funny that it doesn't get talked about enough. What is the best natural stress reliever? So I guess supplements and vitamins are what we're talking about here. Some of these I do have. Some of them I have on the way. Some of the, some of the ingredients I have in products that uh, I already carry. So several supplements have been linked to reduce stress symptoms, including Rodili. Uh, 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 God, I'm going to butcher this. Rodiola rosea. We'll go with that one. Melatonin, glycine, ashwagandha, have some of that on the way probably next week. L-theanine, B-complex, vitamins, and kava, which I also have. All of these have helped people um, increase your body's resistance to life stressors. Fascinating. And as you can see, it just goes on and on. So there's so many methods. Which one is the right one? Obviously, you know, if we talk about uh, supplements, a lot of times they are quite useful. Most of them all natural, whether they're root extracts or uh, plant extracts, leaf extracts, they, they work. The ashwagandha works incredibly well. That's why I ordered it myself to offer in store uh, and online. But uh, realistically, um, how long can we use these? I would say uh, oftentimes we get diminished returns when we use supplements. They work for a while and then maybe they don't work as well anymore. Well, 
the key to um, how to get longevity out of the um, out of the relief you're getting, so that you can continue to see results, is uh, combining some of these things. You can take the ashwagandha, you know, during the day. You can do your yoga. You can go for a walk, get more sunshine. Um, uh, try to laugh more, reduce your triggers. Uh, you know, for some, it's going to be easier. For most, it's a difficult thing to do to reduce your triggers. How do you go about doing that? Now, let's talk about, um, you know, how these things manifest in people. Uh, they can affect our lives, our day-to-day -day lives. They could affect our, um, our productivity at work. They can affect our relationships, whether it's at home or at work. It can, um, you know, it can be destructive. So for some people, they overeat. Uh, sometimes they overeat uh, comfort foods, which are known to be uh, very, very unhealthy uh, for the mind, body, and spirit. Very unhealthy. Uh, but they taste good and they provide that comfort. That is considered something destructive, especially if you don't have a lot of control over it. Um, as my wife likes to say, I'm not hungry, but I just want my mouth to move. Funny enough, I heard that recently. Um. In others, it can manifest in drug use, whether that's legal or illegal, um, abuse of alcohol, which we have seen it's quite, uh, quite destructive. And um, there is a disorder. I think it's alcohol use disorder. Um, can, you know, cannabis has something similar. I covered a video about that. Cannabis use disorder. So some people smoke way too much uh, and it's not doing anything. Some people will drink too much. And that is uh, the impacts that it has on your day-to-day -day life are far worse. Um, though in that short period of time, that window, you might feel a little bit of relief in the long term. You feel sicker. You're just blech, is the best way I can put it. Um, that's why it's great to see cannabis come into the scene finally as, uh, as something that uh, is accepted nationwide. Everyone agrees weed can be useful, um, and, but even that has its limits, right? So the manifestation of the behaviors are things to really look out for. Um, and when you know you're agitated, uh, being self-aware of how you uh, treat people around you when you're feeling this way, um, what you do to cope with it, trying to be as alert and aware of how you're, um, you know, you're really acting out uh, in public and how you're acting out in general, you know, people, how you speak to people. It's very important. Stress, um, you know, is a killer, man. We know this. So how do we reduce it? These are some of the ways. If you have any specific way that is working for you and you feel like people should know, leave them down below. If you found some value, Smash like for the algo because it will never let me rest. That's why I try to post every day. And uh, sub if you want to see more like this. Catch you on the next one.